So is it actually wrong to eat meat? Like, do you have to be vegetarian to become spiritual? You know, this is a question that a lot of people ask. And it's very interesting because some people, they like force themselves to become vegetarian just because the trend seems to be going that way. And just because they are practicing some sort of breathing technique and then start getting into yoga, they feel like that's the path they should be on. However, the other day, actually, I came across a girl who said, oh, I'm trying to become vegetarian right now. And I said, what does that mean? Trying to become meaning you are or you're not? Or what does this mean? She says, well, I'm finding the extremely, extremely difficult and this was over dinner and while she was having her dinner she was just like sitting there and thinking oh this like eating leaves every single day it's like it's like I'm a rabbit or something you know and it's like <laughs> this vegetarian thing is hard and I look at her and I'm saying well if it's so hard it's like why are you doing it she says well it's it's not right to um, eat meat, right? It's like it affects our vibrations. And I asked her a question. I said, well, are you not actually affecting your vibrations right now? Because <laughs> you seem to be sitting there eating leaves and being very upset, being very angry, being very frustrated, and you're missing meat right now. And then what she said was, she said, yeah, but it's because I really love chicken. And I said, well, you love chicken so much. You love chicken so much that you need to eat the chicken. <laughs> and this is the mistake I think a lot of people are um, making in today's world. The way they say things. We live in a very interesting, interesting world. But what if actually all of this is nothing but if we come into this world, it's very important for us to be in positive vibrations. The whole purpose of life at the end of the day is for us to be happy and fulfilled. And how do we become happy and fulfilled? Very simple. We need to do the things that make us happy. We can't limit ourselves and sacrifice certain things, but when one comes to the absolute consciousness in knowing that life is everything, and one starts practicing love, kindness, and compassion, compassion, let compassion be the reason you stop eating animals.